stay safe. If you're not purging, we advise you to get off the streets. It'll soon be a war up there. This is the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal. All emergency services will be suspended. You know how dangerous it is. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Don't do this. It's late. You need to leave. Welcome to Price of Admission. My name is Joy Hansen, and we will be reviewing The Purge Anarchy. As a mother and daughter and a couple collide while trying to survive the night of the purge within the city of LA, their only answer may be the one man determined to purge who still maintains a sense of consciousness. The Purge Anarchy touches on subjects that the first film didn't bother to broach upon. With more characters and a slightly more diverse storyline, this movie keeps the attention of its viewers and maintains suspense consistently throughout. Although the dialogue may be lacking at times, the other aspects really pack a punch and make one really question just how close America is towards reaching the mindset displayed within the movie. Only if you like raw violence and tension, or desired more from the first film, should you spend money on the Purge Anarchy. Callie, what did you think? Definite step up from the first. I thought that the tension and the action that was lacking in the first is here in this one in a big way, as well as the social commentary. Um, like you said, the dialogue was lacking and the general direction was a little bit, a little bit off in some parts of it. But overall, I was engaged in the action and the storyline of all these characters, especially the mother and the daughter, the entire time. So you definitely felt closer to the characters in this definitely. one. Definitely, yes. And were you glad that they went outside of the house? So glad. Them? Taking it to the street and just bringing it outside of a home invasion story was definitely the right way to go. Yeah, they definitely touch on more of the issues that should have been brought up in the first yeah, one. Yeah, of course. And it was, I mean, it, there's a lot to say, and it said it. It didn't hold back either. I think it could have taken place in a different area of the United States. I feel like it sh they should have expanded Expanded more. out. I did like that it was um, in a city, though. I don't know if it could be anywhere else and have that, you know, raw violence everywhere you look every like alley. I felt that the setting kind of contributed to it. That's so I have true. to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> what is your favorite revenge flick? Comment below, follow us on Twitter or Facebook, and your comment may be featured on the next Price of Admission. Have a good day.